former Norwich City footballers have been speaking about how depression has affected their lives. The matter has been thrown into the spotlight by the death of the Wales manager, Gary Speed. And now it seems more former players are willing to speak out on a subject that's received little attention before. Two months ago, Gary Speed took his own life when he was just 42. It caused a national outpouring of grief and others now want the subject of depression to be out in the open. I tried to take my life um, uh, to, to the point of I didn't want to be here anymore and I had everything. But I felt like I was getting injury after injury after injury and mentally it was draining. And when you go home and you shut your door, you know, it, it, sometimes it can eat away at you. Former Norwich player Leon McKenzie used music as a focus after he reached an all-time low. Next month, he releases his first single. The support that footballers receive during and after their careers is something many think needs looking at. Speaking on last night's late kickoff programme, another ex City player, Darren Eady, admitted he'd also suffered from depression. It's such a high pressured environment to be in. Um, you know, one day you love, the next day you hate it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's something hard to, to deal with when you come out of the game because you, it's almost people compare it to coming out of the army, which is, you know, very similar. I know you're not putting your life on the you line. You know but one life and one way of life. Yeah, you do. You, do, you know nothing else. The Professional Footballers Association sent 4,000 footballers a guidebook on how to deal with depression. Players like Darren and Leon hope talking about their experiences will help to remove one of the last stigmas from the game. Nikki Fox, BBC Look East. Protests are taking.